with Barty being the younger by seven years in the reach advantage to Barton by an inch. This bout is brought to you by Bike Works, your number one source for all your motorcycle parts, service, audio, and customization needs. Located in Liberty, Missouri. Fighting out of the blue corner, Kayla Barrington! And her opponent, out of the red corner, Julie Russell! <laughs> Referee Mike England brings both ladies to the center of the cage. Right away, both both ladies take the center of the cage. You know, from the past fights of watching Julie Russell, she's always in there trying to get the victory. She's throwing, she's pressuring, she's pumping out jabs. She's doing whatever she can to try to get that victory, which makes it super exciting. Absolutely, both ladies swinging here. Big right hand lands for Julie Russell. Nice little knee off the clinch from Kayla Barrington. Julie Russell, longtime uh, fighter here out of the Kansas City area, a veteran of almost 20 mixed martial arts and kickboxing bouts, only been stopped twice. Man, that is a that's a pretty fun fun fact right there. And I, I see that we have Barrington being, you know, 100% finish rate whenever she has well, 80% finish rate. Um, she has two fights that were decided by finish, but. She's looking for the finish nonstop, and that makes it exciting, especially in the lighter weight classes. You know, if you're going after it, this is going to be an impact. Yeah, she's been in Julie Russell's face here all night. You know, as soon as they break the clinch off the cage, here she is, back to walking her down. Um, but, you know, Kayla Barrington, no, no stranger to high-level training partners and coaching uh, out of Pariah MMA. Uh, UFC fighter Ronnie Lawrence out of her gym, uh, her coach Drew Lawrence. Um, you know, you got to feel good having another UFC fighter uh, in your corner when you're going against someone like Julie Russell with uh, Grant Dawson screaming to her. Big right hand lands there for Julie Russell. Putting combos. Combos are what's going to help get the victory in this fight for both girls. You know, instead of just throwing the jab or the one power punch, putting combinations together, two, three punches, one, two, three, like that. That was beautiful pressure right there by Julie. Grant Dawson screaming, go back after it, go back after it. Ooh, big knee to the body there by Julie Russell with her back up against the cage. But Kayla Barrington's really fighting to get that the, those double unders there. Julie doing a good job of keeping that stiff arm across with the overhook that's keeping Barrington too, per, too far away, which beautiful takedown defense. Yeah, she got a big brother here there at the end, pushed her right off. Thirty seconds left in round number one here. Oh, big team kick there by Kayla Barrington to keep Julie Di Julie Russell at distance. Time running short here. Let's see if we see another blitz from Julie Russell. Boom, and there it is. Wobbles Kayla Barrington. Time's running short. Let's see if she can finish. Kayla grabbing to stop the. You know, barrage of punches Julie throwing, but ooh, time there. Man. What a way to end round number one. I think uh, I think Julie Russell might have stole it there with that last little flurry. That last flurry definitely helps out and looks good in her favor, especially with the judges. Um, that would have been a tough fight to call because again, they both were having dominant, you know, control back and forth. There wasn't a lot of significant strikes going. One would land the other, but that one at the barrage at the end with Julie definitely helped out. As you see this right here in the major backpack replay, she caught her as she was going backwards and made Kayla grab a hold just to stop that barrage of punches. I yep. think I think Julie would come out very strong this round and, and doing the same thing. Uh, it's got, Kayla's definitely worried about the power. You can see that it, it frustrated her at the end. 
Back at it for round number two of our women's catchweight bout here at 120 pounds. Fight number two of the evening, once again, brought to you by Bike Works. Grant Dawson calling for Julia Russell to take the center right away here. Keep the blitz up. Kayla Barrington really looking to work those kicks early. You know, she's landed a few of them. I'm, I'm interested to see if she takes one even higher. One thing that, that you know, worries me when it comes to kicks like she's kicking, she, her hands are staying low as she's kicking. So if Julie decides to blitz as that kick comes, it's gonna keep her off balance and it could definitely present a huge problem. You know, sh shades of what we kind of saw in our first bout tonight. Um, you know, anytime you get someone who's a real heavy kicker, big right hand lands from Julie Russell again. You know, just like you said, that kick comes up, the hands come flying. She's got the, Julie's got the frame in. Oh, nice directional change by Barrington. Julie needs to get her butt to one side or the other and just keep circling. Oh, there she goes to reverse it on the cage. That was nice. Yeah, dug the underhook there on the left side and nice little reversal to put Kayla Barrington's back up against the fence. Let's see if she cuts and shoots here or goes and uh, works the striking exchange again. I would break off and then throw the strikes. That's what I would do. I would keep Kayla against the cage and, and keep throwing a barrage of punches. She, Julie's been doing a lot of success on the, against the cage with those punches earlier. Yeah, doing a good job of, you know, fainting her way in for those little barrages. Boom, once again, Julie Russell blitzing forward. The combinations are doing very well on Julie. This is the thing Kayla needs to, if she's gonna teep kick, she needs to capitalize, fake the teep kick, throw some combination, you know, after it. it she's just trying to keep the teep in her face to keep her away from her because she doesn't want this pressure to come. Yeah, you can tell the distant management game here has really been the biggest battle as another right hand lands for Julie Russell. And that's something Julie would trade all day. You're gonna kick her leg and she's gonna trade with a head punch. like. That, that's not gonna harm Julie that much. Caleb, Caleb Barrington jumping to the crab right here. Let's see if she can set both hooks. Oh wow, wow. that was a beautiful back take right there. What a transition. Ground and pound starting to come in. We have 34 seconds in this round. Julie needs to, to shrimp around and move and get out or else. All Kayla Barrington needs to do is keep punching. And yeah, Kayla Barrington got that right wrist trapped of Julie Russell, so it's really gonna be tough for her to shrimp out without that free. Let's see if she can start to clear the legs and you know work her hips down. I don't know if it's uh, Kayla got her hand trapped or if Julie's holding on to uh, Kayla's hand so she can't punch. Julie Russell shaking her head in there. She said, this ain't working here. Ooh, this made it very interesting right now. I got a 1-1, one, one. we're going into the third round. Julie Russell doing great with a barrage of punches, but she needs to keep capitalizing and stop waiting. And Kayla doing good, you know, keeping the, the fight at a distance, using the teep kicks. But as we saw her strong suit, Kayla needs to find a way to get the takedown in, whether she sets up punches into the shot, you know. You Look know, at that hook kick right Yeah, there. back on the major pack replay, you know, yeah. Kayla Barrington ducks under the shot, gets the body lock and jumps to the crab ride here. You know, that super slick stuff from, from Kayla Barrington. Julie Russell tries to spin out and she just stays on the backpack. That was a super impressive and fast, you know, transition to the back. When Julie was trying to stand up, Kayla just jumped up, spun around and put her hooks in fast. So we, we know she knows exactly where she wants this fight to be and it's on the ground. Yeah, both ladies doing a great job of stealing the round there at the ends of round one and two. Um, you you got to think both of them are out here hunting for the finish. Yeah. This round right here is going to determine who's going to be the one pressuring the most, who's going to be the one throwing the most. Um, this is, this is going to be a tough card or a tough judging fight. Grant Dawson telling Julie Russell, just keep that jab out there. Keep it in her face and keep it on her. Julie Russell with a nice little body lock here. I'm sorry, Kayla Barrington. B 
big knees knee. land in the clinch. Right here, you know, we know that Kayla wants to take this fight down, but Julie's kind of just throwing punches with no intent to land. And then she'll throw a hard one with an intent to land. Did you see she's trying to set something up? She just needs to go at this point. Yeah, because, you know, she, she's fainting and fainting and fainting. And just like that, Kayla Barrington's ducking under that first jab. Oh. Uh oh. Julie trying to do 100%. It's a jiu jitsu move where she traps the arm to try to take the back of Kayla, which. Wow, what a good well. transition here. But Kayla doing a good job of controlling the arm and spinning towards that side. Second hook seems to find its spot for Julie Russell. Let's see if she gets that arm back over the head and starts to work the choke here. Nice work by Julie Russell controlling that. Kayla needs to get her back flat to the mat and try to separate the legs of Julie Russell right now. Julie's locking her legs in. Oh, and there she goes. Let's separate them. Get up. Oh, big up kicks from Kayla Barrington as Drew, Julie backs out. Kayla Barrington working her way back up to the feet. Kayla she's, just looked up at the time. You can tell that she's exhausted now. Yeah, she's tired. These grappling exchanges take the world out of you, but she's, uh, she won't stop coming. This is where Julie just needs to just go forward and throw. Kayla doing a good job of uh, still pressuring forward and keeping Julie back to be a little afraid of the punch, but if, if she keeps on pushing, She's just pawing out there trying to uh, close enough distance just to grab a hold of Julie and hopefully get the takedown here. We got less than 30 seconds left in the round. Who's going to steal this last exchange? Ooh, beautiful right hand by Julie. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left on our Hoy excavating clock for the evening. There we go. Beautiful fight by these ladies right here. Julie Russell ending the fight with a nice little barrage of punches. That's what she should have did at the beginning, middle, and obviously the end. She needed to keep on attacking, keep pressuring. Um, she let off Barrington off the hook a lot in the fight, which let Barrington, you know, throw her punches. But what an impressive performance by Julie and Good job to Barrington. Let's see who the judges have on this one. Yeah, not a tough out. I mean, not an easy out for either lady tonight in there. I mean, uh, like I said, both of them did not stop coming forward. Constant pressure from both ladies. Um, you know, those grappling exchanges, they take the world out of you. Um, yeah, I was excited to see how both of them finished there. Awaiting the decision from the judges' scorecard here. Julie Russell raising her hands as she should. Yeah, she definitely did enough, in my opinion, to uh, steal that third round there with the grappling and uh, the nice little barrage at the end. Yeah. Judges seem to be taking their time with this one. Uh, yeah, usually when it goes like that, it comes down to, uh, you know, it could be a split decision if the judges are taking their time on that. Um, which, again, it, the judging is, is very difficult at times uh, when it comes down to it, but. Looks like they are sending announcer Jason Nevins back into the, the cage. And I think we are ready for our official results. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Geary scores the bout 29 to 28. Judge Hamilton scores the bout 29 to 28. And Judge Marquez scores the bout 30 to 27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Julie Russell. A big win there for Julie Russell.